Well, I moved over, I've dug uh, one other, uh, actually two other pieces of foil, and then I, I literally, that's, I was standing right there, that's where I got the wheat penny, and I came down here, and you can see I'm right, I'm on the edge of the water here, I mean, look, this is the edge right here, I'm literally six feet from the water, but anyway, I started, I had a weird signal, um, but it was in the penny range, so I dug it, and I ended up with um, these two guys here, there's two more wheat pennies, and the first one I dug on the left there, that's a uh, 1955, I believe. And the second one is a uh, 1930-something. I can't quite read the date. But uh, what also was interesting is, point back towards the hole here. Um, I got another signal in the hole, so I might have uh, a nice little weedy spill here. Let's see what we got. Maybe I get real lucky and there'll be a piece of silver in there. You never know. This tripod, right? Yep, there's another penny down there. I think my pin pointer's about out of battery here. Let's see what we got. Well, it's definitely a wheat scent. Um, I'm gonna set it next to the other two. I'm not sure the date on that one. A little bit without going crazy on it. Okay. That one looks like 1940 something. Might be able to see it easier on the camera than I can see it. All right, let's check the hole again. Maybe we got more than three here. Oh, that would help if you turn on the pinpointer. Got something else in here. All right, hang on one second here. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, Get another one here. Yep, another weedy. 1952. Alright. Got another one. Man, it'd be nice to see a piece of silver shine out of there. Looks like we got two more. Three more. <laughs> got ourselves a nice little weedy spill here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through all the dates right now. I can do this in the wrap up, but that's seven. See what else we got. I heard one more or something. It's down in there pretty deep. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the camera here and uh, I'll uh, figure out what we got here and uh, and I'll let you know what the final tally is. Well, uh, the last uh, those the all were weedies. The last three um, were in the 50s, and what was else was in the hole was. Uh, uh, it looks like some type of piece of brass chain and then <laughs> that little uh, fishing weight. So all that was in the hole. And this wonder I was getting such a goofy signal. Like, <laughs> it's weird, you know. It really didn't settle in anything but like penny. That was the only thing I could get out of it. But uh, not too bad. That's a, that's a pretty nice little weedy spill. Boy, I sure hope there's some silver here if we're seeing that. So anyway, um, well, I'm going to keep digging. I'll let you know uh, what I find there. Hey everybody, um, back at a park, oh, actually I'm back at the park where I had the weedy spill um, another day. 
Um, I just got like a penny signal. I was opening up the hole, and I was just I just stuck the pin pointer down in here, and I look it, I looking down in here. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like I might have a ring here. See that right there? Let's pull it out and see what we got. Oh yeah, a little guy. Little tiny kids ring here. Looks like it's probably silver though. Been on the ground a little while. It's down almost six inches. Yeah. But hey, a ring's a ring. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. All right, we'll clean it up. Show it in the wrap up. Well, I'm back out at another park. Um, this park is, uh, I'm always hesitant to bring the camera here because this is uh, right on the edge of the hood here. and There's some unscrupulous types that hang out here, but uh, actually this is the only second hole I dug. And uh, I got a real, like just iffy signal about eight inches, but apparently it wasn't down that deep, might've been on edge, but I got a, it's like I got a silver quarter here. Haven't looked at it yet. <laughs> Oh, wow, just made it, 1964, 1964, let's set it down here, hey, good start, like I said, just got here, so let you know if I find anything else. Okay, time for the wrap up. Um, this is a wrap up from basically about four different uh, trips, usually uh, a couple hours a piece, two different parks, um, and uh, this is this is pretty much this is the top here is all clad. These are all pennies on this side. Um, on this side, this is quarters, nickels, dimes. I didn't add it up. I mean, it's you know there's a considerable amount of clad, but. These are busy parks. Um, these bottom ones here, these are all uh, wheat pennies. That includes the seven that I found uh, together in that weedy spill. Um, the earliest one I think was in 1919, um, but a couple from the 20s and a couple from the 30s, so that was kind of nice. Um, this here is one of those, I guess they call it a Sacagawea dollar. Or, um, I think I found three of those this year. Um, the two pennies next to it, those are uh, King George pennies. One's in 1942, one's in 1940. Uh, real common dates for the Canadian uh, King George pennies. Um, one of these I did get on film, uh, the 1964, um, and the 1963 next to it I did not film, um, but those were the ones that were down uh, um, in that park that, like I said, is uh, not kind of a sketchy area there. Um, the dime. Um, was when I got it out looked like the pennies um, that came out of the, the weedy spill park and uh, I had to clean it up a little bit just to get uh, just to get some to look like that but uh, anyway three silvers and then this ring is silver um, I haven't cleaned it up yet um, it, but it is marked uh, 925 so so not bad for you know for a couple of hunts got some silver um, but uh, I'm gonna go hit the water because uh, we're up here in Michigan and it's about to get cold. And when it gets cold, you just can't get through that ice. So <laughs> anyway, um, that's it for the wrap up and uh, we'll catch y'all next time.